Hi, I'm Sam Bartell from Team 399, and I'm going to show you how the drop of the center wheel affects turning characteristics. For this demonstration, we raised the center wheel so that we can show you how a four-wheel robot turns. So as you can see, it didn't turn very well with the four wheels. Now that's because wheels are made to slide forward, not sideways. Well, at least traction wheels, that is. Right now, I'm going to lower the center wheel so that the center wheel is the only thing that's touching the ground in a turn. That way, the front and back wheels can skid back and forth and we can turn a lot faster. So I just dropped the center wheel by an eighth of an inch, so now the wheels rock an eighth of an inch on each side. Now here's how it turns. Ah, beautiful. Since we lowered the center wheel, we were able to turn much better than with the four wheels, and we can still have the side-to-side -side traction that an Omni wheel wouldn't offer us. So here's the application of having the center wheel dropped. This robot is the Wizard from 2010 season, and it, the wheel is dropped a quarter of an inch. See how it drops? Now, what this allows us to do is we still had the traction in the front so that we could climb the hill, and we still had enough traction so that when a robot hits from the side, like that, we don't spin out. And that's why you want the center wheel dropped.